Okay, you too. Bart here, home sitting house. A couple of quick things that I did today. Um, one, I don't know if you saw it the other day. <clears throat> I had this twine that was holding this on. Uh, I redid the bolts here. Got this in. I had to re-drill this hole. Um, whoever installed this awning didn't really get it on there right. Uh, so now that's all insecure. In securely, I should say. Uh, also lubricated this thing because that was binding up. Now closes beautifully. And then the last thing I did today, uh, you won't be able to see from here, but uh, well, hold on. Pausing, unpausing. Ladder magically appears. Oh, climb the ladder here. Whoop, pop away. Um, of course, without having shown it before, um, I painted the roof with Last Merrick um, Blackjack Super Roof 1000. Um, just put a nice seal on it. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it on the video or not. I got to cut in around that air conditioning unit. I discovered that that vent over there leaks horribly um i saw why it's leaking i can fix that and need to cut in around a little bit of stuff still but for the most part i got it all sealed um, i need to fix the awning down there i see um <clears throat> there were a few tiny leaks we we've gotten a lot of rain a couple uh a couple of weeks ago, we got a ton of rain, and there were just a couple of little drips that had made it through. I don't know if you can see up there where the paint and stuff, but hopefully this will get it cured. Um, yeah, that roof jack right there just completely busted out, and um, I can see where the water's going in. Okay tighten that window down because the kids had slept up there and didn't get it tight. Need to replace that travel mate and get a T. I don't know how I'm going to get one of those. eBay, here I come maybe. You can see I had done this one last week while we were camping. Makes it look snazzy. Okay. Uh, I had also painted this. Make that look a little better. I don't know. And around that was all the screws were really rusty. Um, got a new tire because I had a blowout last week. So we did get a new tire on the front. And then they put <clears throat> this is a brand new tire. When I bought it, it had three new tires and three old tires. So they put a new tire on here, the brand new tire here that was a new tire but a little bit used um, that one they moved back here because this side still had two old tires and if we come around here on this side we had one new tire and one old tire and <clears throat> so they put the new tire in the front moved the front new tire to the back other side because that was two old tires and now here we have one old one new over there we have one old one new um, and then the front two tires are both new and the one being brand brand new so the next brand new one I get will go on the other front tire and then that one will come back here and replace one of the old tires and then the other old tire is the only one we got left. So right now we got four new tires and two older tires. And then this spare is in pretty rough shape. So when we get the next new tire, um, one of the decent old tires will go on there. And the cover to that was completely dry rotted out. Um, so we just ruined it to get it off of there. And I got to fix this bit of fancy fanciness there. Um, uh, also got to check the wiring on that because it's not, the blinker does not work. 
So, anyway, there it is. The Mighty Tech on a Ford chassis, in case um, I never really mentioned that before. It's got the Ford 460. Drinks the gas pretty fast, but it's got a lot of power. I'm getting about 8 miles to the gallon around here. Not too bad. Kind of sunny, not too bad. I had a uh, small solar update. Uh, was getting good solar today, midday. Um, actually had my meter stop. Uh, spinning backwards a little bit. So it was rolling off a little bit of stuff. So that's good. Got a mess over here I still need to clean up. But nice day in northern Arkansas. All right, that was just supposed to be a quick update. Now we're six minutes in. So y'all have a good day, and uh, I'll catch you next time.